Okay, so doing this for WrestleMania 26 is a review. I've done a review in a while, so. But in a way, this this could this pay per view WrestleMania 26 could set the tone for the Monday Night Wars because if you saw um, the TNA pay per view last week, it was not really good. And TNA actually really pulls out really decent pay per views. Really good pay-per-views. So, um, if they capitalize on this, they capitalize on this. Just they set the tone for the Monday Night Wars. Uh, I'm just this is my opinion. Tanya's kicking their ass. I'm just saying. But let's see. Well, last year WrestleMania was um, it was okay. But this one has some matches I'm actually looking forward to. Well, for example. HBK vs. Shawn Michaels. This match saved last year's WrestleMania. And the rematch is even better because it's the streak versus the career. Shawn Michaels' career versus The Undertaker's undefeated streak. Now, I really think that this is the time that the streak will end. So I'm going to pick HBK. I'm just going to bet against the streak this time. Normally I don't do this, but it's gonna happen in my mind now this one has been happening for 13 years you know what I'm talking about I'm talking about Bret Hart for his Mr. McMahon no holds barred Bret Hart was actually really smart with the injury thing I didn't see that coming but it's the hitman you're talking about come on so it's going to be Bret Hart that wins this. Unfortunately, Earl Hebner will not be the referee for this match. So, um, I was hoping for a screw drop at WrestleMania. So, whoever's referee, in Bret's favor. But, all in all, Bret will own Mr. McMahon. In the WWE Championship match, Roy Heeltista, or Batista, whatever you want to call him, against the WWE poster boy faggot John Cena. And, normally, I wouldn't bet against Batista, but he's heel now. And I personally like him better as a heel in Evolution. I like him better as a heel. I'm not saying his, his uh, face turn as soon as he left Evolution wasn't good, it was pretty good. But, I liked him better as a heel. And if you saw his first few promos, they were epic. Now, John Cena, uh, did he win the, no, he didn't win the Royal Rumble. John Cena just won something to become the number one contender. But, John Cena has had what? Maybe 15, 50 title reigns as a WWE Champion? It's about time they have a change. Just like they had with the Sheamus, Batista will win. Batista will win. Bet money on it. Now, the World Heavyweight Championship match. Edge versus Chris Jericho. This is a really simple one. Edge is going to be your World Heavyweight Champion. Now, the Money in the Bank ladder match is not really something you can predict because every year something else different happens. Well sure CM Punk won two times in a row, but CM Punk is not in this match. So here's how I'm gonna do it. We're gonna look at these people in the match because I can just eliminate a few people right now. For example, Dolph Ziggler. He is no way in hell he is going to win. Jack Swagger. Same reason. Evan Bourne. Actually, Kane. You don't really see a big guy in a Money in the Bank ladder match. And you don't usually see him winning. So, I'm putting him down as a maybe. Kofi Kingston. If win, lose, or draw, Kofi Kingston will have a huge impact in that match. And will probably steal the show. Evan Bourne, same reason. MVP, I don't really see him winning this match. 
the Christian has the experience. He was in the first Money in the Bank ladder match. So, he could possibly win this. I already said Dolph Ziggler, fuck him. Shelton Benjamin has also been in every, uh, almost every Money in the Bank ladder match. So, he has the edge. And he could do this. He could possibly win. This is probably his year. Matt Hardy. Hardys are famous for ladder matches. You always put them down as one of the favorites for these matches. And uh, Drew McIntyre. If you did your research, he actually has been in the WWE way before now. He was actually a jobber on Heat and whatnot. But still, Drew McIntyre is a little more impressive than the last time I saw him. I've seen him. Like a few years ago. So, Drew McIntyre, I think he could win it. The prophecy, whatever, I don't think it's going to happen yet. But it's in his future. He could win this money to make ladder match. I could be wrong, but I don't really care. Now, the unified tag team title. And this is pretty good because it's actually a unified tag team title. And I haven't really talked about it. And I really think that's a good thing for WWE because that way they can, the top tag teams can actually face the champions for these titles instead of like two brand titles, you know, have every title event, whatever, whatever, whatever. But Show Miz versus John Morrison and Ronald Truth Killings, aka R Truth. So I really hope that Show Miz loses because you need to have some new talent with those titles. You need to have some new growing talent with those titles because quite frankly you haven't had a SmackDown Tag Team Champions besides Jericho and Edge well technically Jericho was not on SmackDown I don't think he was on Raw still or something like that. he was on SmackDown yeah so you really need to have a SmackDown Tag Team Champions Unified Tag Team Champions because but really, most of these titles are on Raw. If you think about it. Because it won't work out in the long run, WWE. You need to figure this out. Now, Triple H versus Sheamus. Sheamus, although he looks like a really bleached out Warren McDonald. Like Ed said, he really does. But he looks like a ginger, too. But other than that, he has really impressed me, to be honest. He really impressed me because... First of all, if you beat a WWE faggot poster boy, you're going somewhere. Second, you challenge Triple H at WrestleMania. Although the ginger will not win this match, that is still pretty impressive in my book. So, yeah, I'm saying Triple H will win this. And the Legacy Imploding match is one of my, this is one of the matches I am going to love. Now... Randy Orton versus Ted DiBiase Jr. Because Ted DiBiase, the millionaire man, got injured last night. So, Ted Di so we have to officially call him Ted DiBiase Jr. Versus Cody Rhodes. Now, think about it. These are three of second generation superstars. This is going to be ready to implode. This is going to be awesome. I don't really have a winner for this. So, I'm just really like poor figures with this. And the 10 Diva Tag Team Match. It's going to be Mickey James, Kelly Kelly, Eve Torres, Gail Kim, and Beth Phoenix versus Lakel, Maurice, Alicia Fox, and Vicky Guerrero. And I hope Eddie is up there somewhere hoping that his wife gets his ass kicked. So, I am, I will say Team Michael loses. And we just got this done in 10 minutes. That's awesome. So, see you guys.